I'm Ryan Duffy. I'm the Executive Director of the Holland Land Office Museum. And this year we've been awarded the Special Recognition of the Year. So what I do at the museum is basically run the day-to-day -day operations with Tyler Angor, our curator, and we work together to put together programming and exhibits with Tyler handling more of the collection and me handling more of the public side of it. Uh, but the Holland Land Office Museum is a museum dedicated to the local history of Genesee County and the Holland Purchase, which encompassed all of western New York. So we tell the history of, from the beginning of Joseph Ellicott all the way up to the modern day and a wide uh, area of topics. Uh, 2023 was one of our biggest, uh, at least since I've been here, we saw a lot of growth. Uh, we added Tyler, our curator, which has increased that growth exponentially. Uh, and He's brought in a lot of new exhibits and new ideas, which have allowed us to reach wider audiences. Uh, we had upticks in membership, uh, visitorship, a uh, number of programs and the successfulness of those programs as well. So 2023 was really a, a, a year of growth for us and we're expecting to grow from there. Well, we are the birthplace of Western New York. Uh, it's not just a slogan, it is the truth. Uh, from this building, the Holland Land Company sold all the land of Western New York, over three million acres worth of land. Uh, and our structure built in 1815 is one of the oldest still left in the area. Uh, still standing, but we don't just talk about the history of Western York, we talk about the history of Genesee County and many different facets. So we're not just all about serving. We, are, we have military artifacts, we have agriculture, we have industrial, we have cultural and a huge clothing collection as well. So we have a little bit of everything uh, and we're continually trying to change things up and rotate things. So if you haven't been here in a little while, please come by because it's completely different. So we'd like to thank the Genesee County Chamber of Commerce for their recognition for us this year of the Special Recognition Award. Uh, we're very appreciative of, of their uh, appreciation of what we do here as uh, it's always nice to know that the community supports us and is interested in what goes on here at the Holland Land Office Museum. I'm Michelle Gillard. Um, I have been chosen for the 2023 Genesee County Chamber Genesean of the Year Award. Uh, I volunteer for the Salvation Army um, throughout the year. I assist with the Angel Tree Program during Christmas time. Um, recently we have helped with the food pantry. Uh, the food pantry has uh, been depleted so we, we ran a, a fundraiser and drive for that last week. Um, I also am the treasurer in the Batavia Business and Professional Women's Club. We raise money for scholarships for high school seniors and we also raise money for service awards for other nonprofit uh, organizations in the community. Uh, I recently joined um, the board of the Batavia Fast Pitch Girls Softball. Um, which is an organization that um, allows for girls to play softball in the summer. And um, in the past, I've helped also with Habitat. It's been a few years that was obviously prior to COVID, but um, there's only so many hours in the day. So um, my main focus has really been at the Salvation Army. Um, I realized how much they really do within our community. So. I think growing up I would see my father, my, my dad was always one, he'd be the guy stopping on the side of the road, you know, if you were stuck in the snow, like, you know, no questions asked, he was helping you out. Um, so I kind of grew up around that, um, just helping others, like if there's a need and you're able to help with that need, um, I get just as much out of it as I, I put into it, like it's, it's just good for the soul, um, you know, if we all did a little bit think of where we would be as, as a community and as a world. I, I want to thank the Chamber and, and everybody involved. Um, I keep finding out more and more each day how many people were kind of behind the scenes in this, so I just, you know, I want to thank them. And I also, I want to give a big shout out to my husband and my daughter. Um, my, hu my husband, he, we joke all the time, I like to collect things, but I always tell him I don't keep them, so I collect them for whatever we need them for. Um, and he just, he's there, he's, you know, whether it's taking care of my daughter while I'm out doing whatever I'm doing or running to grab me, you know, whatever it is I need. And my daughter just, um, you know, she comes and helps also. So 
I just, I appreciate the support they give me and all my family and friends. Like I said, they're, they're top notch. Bonnie Woodward, I uh, am the owner of the Alabama Hotel. I'm Joe Grott. I am the general manager of the Alabama Hotel. We were awarded the uh, Business of the Year by the Genesee County Chamber of Commerce. We're um, very thankful for that. Um, we thank all of our patrons, our, all of our, our team of employees, and we are a team. Um, and everyone who, I don't know who nominated us, but I think it was crazy. <laughs> The Alabama Hotel was built in 1844. Uh, it was the center of um, Alabama Center. It was the most important building here, and it's almost one of the only ones here. <laughs> we, um, my husband's family bought the Alabama Hotel in 1956, and it's been in the family ever since. And uh, when my nephew wanted to um, to move and, and um, sell the hotel. I decided I would take it over and uh, continue it in the family because it means a lot to me. I uh, used to be here when I, was, when I was a teenager and hang out in the kitchen and um, wash dishes for dinner. So uh, it, it, it's dear to my heart. So if you haven't been to the Alabama Hotel, we are here Wednesday through Sunday. Um, folks tell us our salad bar is famous. Uh, we do have one of the only salad bars in Genesee County. Um, we do a pizza night on Wednesday, prime rib for two on Thursday, Friday fish fry, and then some just great comfort food. Grandma's Chicken and Biscuits has been around here for many, many years. Um, we have everything from bar bites to your steak and your seafood. We are an 80-20 restaurant, and that, that comes from Chef Josh Swimline. 80% um, of what we serve here is handmade. 20% would be what comes out of a freezer. Most of the people that come here, it's, it's kind of like being um, coming to Cheers because most of the people that are here are very friendly and, and they'll talk to anybody. And people that have only been here one time, they always say, well, we're coming back because this place is really comforting. and and a lovely place to be at. My name is Travis Offhouse from Offhouse Farms and we were selected as Genesee County Agriculture Business of the Year. Offhouse Farms was started in 1959 in Erie County by my grandfather Gordon Offhouse and then in 1972 him and his brother Bruce moved to Genesee County to the location where we are now with a hundred and 20 cows and the farm has grown to its present size of 1,400 cows. What we do here is make milk. So everything that we do goes into making milk. We run about 2,000 acres of growing uh, corn for silage and a little bit of grain and uh, alfalfa for haylage. And all the work that we do goes to ship the milk out the door. Uh, we're here with uh, my uncle, our uncle Scott. Uh, brother Levi and Sister Liz are the family members on the farm. You know, we like to continue the family business. Uh, it's just what we do. Uh, we, you know, on a good day it doesn't even feel like work. And on a bad day you have that once in a while, but you just gotta get through them. And we like to, you know, be a member of the community and uh, put back, feel like farming really puts back into the community. Uh, every dollar that we take in gets spent pretty much locally and uh, you know, dairy farms are really good at spreading money into the community so that's what we do. I'd like to thank uh, first and foremost uh, everybody that works here and helps us get everything done every day because without them we couldn't do it. We'd like to thank all the businesses that we have uh, good relationships with in the community and lastly we'd like to thank the chamber for being accepted uh, are giving us the opportunity to accept this award. So, so it takes a team. I'm Marcy Colantonio. I've been with Volunteers for Animals for seven years. I'm Angie Nasley. I've been with the Volunteers for about ten years. 
I'm Wendy Kastelman. Um, I'm the treasurer with Volunteers for Animals and I've been with the group for a little over 20 years. Um, we have been selected by the Chamber of Commerce um, as the Special Anniversary Recognition Award um, and we are very excited about it. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it was a complete surprise for us and we are very humbled that the community selected us for this award. One thing that we, we like to uh, define is, is, you know, who we are and we came up with a very good explanation that um, we, you know, we assist here at the county shelter and what it, what it really is is two very separate groups working under one roof to take care of the, of the animals. Um, you know, the, the county and the sheriff's department um, certainly plays a you know, major role. They take care of the building, you know, the, the dog control officers. And then we, you know, we assist with um, much of what goes on here and um, animal care and health care. Yep, we try to do the extras that the county's not able to do. Um, we provide all the medical care for the animals as well as all the spay and neutering, vaccines, um, testing the medications, those sorts of things. Um, we do the promotion of the animals on Facebook as well as our website um, and Pet Finder. I just like to give them a comfy place here to live for a short time, make sure they're comfortable and well cared for. And like to help them find their forever homes. Everybody is a volunteer. Um, we have people that show up for shifts um, on a regular basis. Um, we have people that come in at night to let the dogs out. Um, we've got people that run animals to the vet. Um, we have people that go to every fundraiser that we can think of, write thank you notes to everybody, um, clean cages. Do laundry, do, do dishes, laundry, dishes, yeah. <laughs> socialize I mean, yeah, it, cats and dogs. It's an endless amount of work and we have people that just show up here every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we are thrilled. <laughs> yes, the are. Chamber uh, giving us this award is just wonderful and it, it's given us a great opportunity to, to get our message out.